is a quick recap on this coin trade I took. I gave it in a telegram uh, early in the morning. It was a two up, right? I seen this shoot a candle. And what I noticed was, was full at the time, we were full time frame continuity to the downside, right? Mostly. And then once we broke this level of 82.57, we was coming down. We have no support here, all right? Nothing really here. I went down to a lower time frame, went down to the hour. And I did notice we had a little, you know, supply wick right here. So, no, not there. Sorry about that. Supply wick right here. So I made this PT1, right? That way I had some way to trim along the way. But as you can see, we did a three, two, two down on the hour and on the daily. We hit a two, two reversal, shoot a candle. I said time frame continuity was on my side. The hour, four hour, the day, and the month was red, which trumps, when the day is red, it trumps the week's red, right? I mean, a green, right? So for the most part, I had full time frame continuity. Lower time frames was red, 15 to 30. So go back down to the hour. Once we crossed that line, did a three, a little manipulation. Knocked some stops out. Probably anybody that entered here, right? Anybody that entered in this area, took out this high right here. Broke the 2-2 two -two and continued on down. And we still have about four hours left in the market. We have... No support here, right? Next PT is down here at 73.17, right? So if you got some contracts with some time on it, being that tomorrow is Friday, you probably should have had a week or two out anyway. Right now it's up 190% at the time of this recording. Uh, I am going to hold a position into tomorrow uh, and see what we get. I've trimmed about 90% of that position. So I'm going to hold just a small piece, but I'm pretty big in profits. That's what I mean by you only need one trade, one perfect setup, A plus setup, which was basically it's about an A setup, A plus setup. I mean, you got to shoot a candle. Sellers pushed it down, right? And it's big engulfing on a day with plenty of room down. So, I mean, you basically took profits you know, on your way down, move, just stop down, right? That was just a little quick recap on this trade. I, uh, I actually managed this trade on the 15, so I just watched it. And as you can see, we did, we came down to the two, two, one, two, right? And two, two continuation. Now we had a two down and we still continue to push down. So there's really no reason to get out of this trade yet. Um, if anything, you could have put your stop, you could put a stop here at the hour PT and just give it room or, you know, you can keep continue to push it down. But at this point, I'm so far in profit. It's not a big deal. I took a uh, $81 puts strike price. And as you can see, now we down here at $79 and 57 cents. So uh, that's just managing your trade, managing your risk and knowing when to enter executing and, you know, waiting for, the trade to play out. So that was just a little quick recap on how I traded this. And as you can see, like right here, that's why I, I kind of like, like to enter on higher time frames. This would have faked most people out and it would have made them sell, right? Got that little pop up, came down, retested this area, and we came on down. Right now, if you look on the higher time frames, got a big engulfing, right? Next candle open, wick through. You would have entered in here. You just would have rolled this down if you looked at the hour. So anywhere down in these lower time frames, you would have entered. It would have shook you out. You would have entered here. You got shook out here. You'd have been like, oh, I'm green. Got shook out here. And then look what happened. So sometimes you got to be patient. You ain't got to be the first one in. But if you are the first one in, you just got to have your stops in place and be patient. You know, and give give your play room to, to, to play out, especially if you enter on a first breakout. So as you can see this came and broke down. You would have entered. I mean, you could have actually took some profit here. It would have been light. 
as you can see, we pop back up. Didn't make a, a new high, right? When it's five minutes, didn't make a new high, and continue down. So that's how you don't get shook out. So basically, your stop could have been here if you was going to enter here on a five minute. But like I said, I play these higher time frames. And even here, didn't make a new high and continued on down. And nowhere did we make a new high, right? Look at that. Came down. Never made a new high. So that is how you don't get shaken out of plays. You know, you got to see where the pivot points are and if you make new highs or new lows, right, when you're getting into a play. Understanding that is very important. Like, that's going to be a very, very important part to keep you in trades and to stop you from getting shaken out. But most importantly, higher time frames, right? Look, this really did a 1-3 on the four-hour, right? Did a 1-3 on the four-hour. So you really could have ended up here if you took it on a four-hour, right? And this would have been your first PT, and then it would have continued down. Right? Here's your 12-hour. Here's your six-hour, same thing. Could have entered here. This would have been your first PT. You continue down. So you kind of got in even earlier. A little bit lower time frames from the daily. So I just played it safe. Entered here, and we have no support here. So we'll see what happens. And guess where this trade got generated from? I don't know if you can see those emojis, but it got generated from the autostratic trade indicator by Kai Keeley. Um, obviously, I noticed this trade anyway, but it was just perfect just scrolling through my watch list and being able to see uh, that indicator there. So uh, I'm going to add a link to the tools that you need to trade. Um, he's going to be charging for this indicator, like a one-time fee soon, but I think he's still adjusting things as in beta, so I don't think he's really charging. I think he's charging. He said he was going to start charging on the first, but I think he's going to push that back because he said he's still adjusting things. So. Check that out. I'll put a link in the tool section and you can get that. But part of this course is just showing live market action and how I take trades and why I take trades, not just to show you how to take trades. So I'm showing you live market action. Like I said, the market is open right now. It was 113. And, you know, we still continuing to move. You know, I even used a seven minute chart. And look at this. We're still not really making higher highs, right? We're not, so we might still continue to come back down and break this level and continue down. So nowhere have we really popped up and made a higher high anywhere. So that's it.